Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. It's that day. Gold release is out, the final version is out, and it's just updated, and look behind me. What's new? Let's get going. Okay, it's the 25th. I mentioned in my last video a couple of days ago that I believed that tvOS 13 would be finally released, new screen saves, access to arcade, etc. Um, one of my viewers has co uh, contacted me, thank you for that, and let me know that it is available as the day I suggested. So for those of you guys that have been waiting to get hold of the Gold Master or get hold of the final version, it is now released. So, so a quick look what's on the screen. First and foremost, we have, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. Sorry about the contrast here this morning. It's quite early and quite bright. Um, let me just turn the lights out so you can see. There we go, much better. So first and foremost, we have home screen. We know the home screen has changed. Apple Arcade, we should be able to get access to Apple Arcade today, so we'll try that. Control Center, we know you can swipe in and change users, multi-users. Apple Music, we've seen it with the lyrics. We've talked about that in the previous betas. And the underwater seascape screensavers, that's the one I'm looking for. So let's continue, let's see what's in there. This is the first time I've tried it. So let's start down here. Let's go into settings, just confirm this, the version as we always do. And that's interesting. The controller was a little bit slow there. Um, let's do software updates and see what we're on. 5584A, just check there's no further updates. It's up to date. So 17J5584A is the final version, which is as per our previous video. Um, let's go straight into the screensavers. Let's go up to here, up to general. Let's go down to screensaver and... Hmm, interesting. Okay guys, it's been a little while. I've been playing around with this this morning to try and figure out what the, uh, the best approach to try and get this updated. Um, what I've found is if you go into settings and then you go to software updates and then you say get beta updates off uh, automatically update on and then update software, there's a new version, 17J6586. So if you're like me on the gold, um, uh, the gold master release and you weren't getting the updates, you weren't getting the screen savers, which took me a while to figure out, then you have to do this. So let's download it and install it and hopefully we'll get the screen savers. I'll quickly let that run and then I'll come back to you in a few minutes. Okay, let's have a quick look. Um, this appears to be a new version. So let's just do a quick check a -roo. So if we go up to settings and go down to system, and we go down to software updates, 17J586, that's slightly different. Okay, let's come out of here. Let's go up here, let's try the screensavers. Arial, click on there. Still no screensavers. I'll try one other thing. I'm going to try a reset and update. Now I've set that to no beaters and we'll try that. That might be another solution. Um, either way, I'll put the correct solution up on the internet so you'll be able to see it. So let's try this. I'll leave it running. I'll come back to you. Got it, guys. Look at that screensaver. That's the underwater screensaver. And there's some peculiar about Apple TV OS. Um, I found that the screensaver is set to aerial but yet it's getting the underwater screen service. It's only downloaded one. Um, so what my experience is showing so far is that you have to restart and reset the TV uh, OS. Um, you have to say no to download betas so you get the new version. And then you have to be patient, you have to wait. It is amazing, isn't it? Look at those. Um, these are downloading in the background. So I'm gonna give it a little bit longer see if any more screen savers come down, but clearly the underwater screen savers there, these are, um, some Cape fur seals of the coast of uh, Cape Penish Peninsula in South Africa. Um, you probably can't see it. I have to zoom out a little bit so you can see that. But isn't that amazing? Look at that, guys. So um, screensavers are working. Brilliant. Um, what I'll try in a moment is uh, configuring my Xbox controllers. Uh, we'll give that a try. We'll go on uh, Apple Arcade. Okay, the contrast isn't going to be so good on this uh, this one because I, I had to stand last one. Because honestly, I've got my Xbox controller here. Um, we're going to set up Bluetooth. Um, I just get my controller. Okay, what you have to do, you have to go to settings, Bluetooth. So let's do that. Go into settings. And we've got to set up the Bluetooth. So is it remotes and devices? 
uh, Bluetooth, there it is. And how to play games controllers. Well, let's just follow it for the moment. For the instructions below. So on Xbox wireless controller, um, just stop that phasing. Sorry, that's awful when it does that. There we go. Um, press the Xbox button, turn on the controller, and then press and hold the connect button for a few seconds. The connect button is this button on the back. So we'll turn this on. Turn my Xbox off, because I don't want that running. So I've turned my Xbox controller on, and then you press and hold this button at the back. And there's my Xbox wireless controller. Just zoom in at the top so you can see that. So I should now be able to go down to there, pick that, this is my controller, I'll just zoom, hey, controller connected. And you can use your Xbox controller to move a TVS around, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's zoom out again, and let's go back, using the B button of course. And then let's go up to Apple Arcade and give that a try. So go into Apple Arcade, three, four months, got to give that a try, right? Uh, let's go, uh, try it free, and I've got to put my password in, so I'll pause the video there, put my password in, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've just uh, put this in, this is subscribe me to Arcade Monthly, so if month free trial, pardon me, after the trial period, your Apple ID will also be charged $4.99 each month, I'm happy with that. Uh, cancel you go to your iTunes account on the settings on the computer, iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Okay, I'm fine, let's go. So continue. Um, I agree with the terms and conditions like every good Apple person would. Um, there we go. And we should now have Apple Arcade. Uh, it's available across the devices, play with family and friends, support games controllers like the uh, Xbox wireless controller. Okay, let's go into there. Um, what should we play? Okay, let's have a go at uh, this game here. This is called Ocean Horn 2, Knights of the Lost Realm. Let's see if we've got some sound on this. Uh, we can get it, uh, yeah, go on, let's get it and have a go. Presumably you get this is within your subscription. Yeah, you do. And it's downloading at the moment. So I'll quickly let that download and then we'll give it a go. Okay, the game's downloaded, and uh, let's scroll down here. Ocean Horn 2, and uh, let's fire that up first time, and let's see what happens. It was about two point something gig. Oh, went to the game center. Okay, let's continue. Cool, that looks good, didn't it? This game requires a compatible game controller. There we go. So let's do a new game. At the end of the world, I write this paragraph. No! Excuse me. The of Arcadia. They fought Ooh. valiantly against this end, but they are powerless before the fate set by Kronos. Hold A to skip. Just do that. I don't know if it's copyright issues with this, but hey, let's just get into it and show you. Okay, I'm going to zoom a little bit on the screen. We'll skip all of this. I can always come back and do this again in a minute. Um, let's see what it looks like. This is amazing for, for an Apple TV device. There's lots to skip. I'm gonna skip lots. I just wanna, wow. The lockbox, stolen from me many years ago by pirates. Its contents are vital for your knighthood. Good luck, Master Wow. Mason. What's this? This island belongs to the eight castle. It's a Scarava. That's pretty good. Wow. I am suitably impressed. Considering this is a, an Apple TV, Who'd have thought you'd be able to play games like this? And apparently you can play it on like your uh, Mac OS, your iPad, your phone. Um, my son just came in and he said, oh yeah, he got the notification that Apple uh, Arcade was working. So he can obviously play games as well. Be really interesting to see what the multiplayer games are like and whether you can play uh, one of you on Apple TV, one of you on the iPad, and one of you on, on the iPhone. But yeah, that's uh, superb. Now, how do I get out of here? 
Oh, that's a map. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure how to get out. Ah. Oh. Game Center. Go back. I'm just coming out of it now. Oh, look, that works really well, really, really well. And now, how do we come out of here? Ah, maybe we use the Apple TV controller. Okay, you can go back um, by using the the home button here. Okay, so. Uh, let's have a little summary. Um, Apple TV OS 13. Let me turn the light on so you can see me. Guys, I just want to add another little video on this. Um, we realised that um, when my son said that he got the arcade message on his phone, that um, I probably got something similar on mine. I've just gotten onto my phone. I've gone up here and look what's up here. Apple Arcade on the phone. Exactly the same game. Now, one thing I haven't realized is whether it stores save games. So I'll play, play with that later. And I'll probably do another one just on Apple Arcade, another video just on Apple Arcade. But the game is now on my phone. How good is that? I'll just skip. And there we go. There's the game. Working on my phone. Brilliant. Okay, so a little summary. Apple TV OS 13. What do you get? Well, you get uh, Apple Arcade, and clearly the games work perfectly. You have to pay the $4.99 a month. Um, from what I've seen, from an initial look, that looks like great value. There's loads of games on there. Um, we get the new screensavers, so I'll just uh, dive back into this. There are others. They're downloading in the background, so I can't share all of those with you. And to be fair, you probably want to find them out yourselves. But as everything, you can click on this, this home button here. Scroll left and right, you've got normal aerial screensavers, but the other screensavers are downloading at the moment. They're quite big. They can be up to nearly a gig in size, so that's just downloading in the background. Um, we have the Apple Music. So this is where you get your lyrics. Um, when you're playing music, you get the lyrics on the right-hand side. So if I just pick one of these, uh, what should we pick? Let's pick, um, let's pick a bit of Charles Bradley or something like that. These are my favorite mixes. I've got to be careful of, um, I've got to be careful of copyright here, so I'll just play it for a second. Ah. I'll just stop that so I don't get copyright infringement against me. Um, so you get those. Um, we get this lovely new view, so you can see right at the top. Something I learned a moment ago, if you scroll up, then you get a little, uh, uh, little bullets down the bottom, I don't know what you call them, and you can scroll left and right, Sorry, one second. You can then scroll left and right, and you can go to all the new things that are on there. So you keep scrolling, this is about Euphoria, True Come Dancing, this is all the things that are on your Apple TV. So this is uh, Godzilla, that's just been released on the uh, Apple uh, iTunes, so you can obviously watch that if you wanna watch it. But I thought that was pretty cool as well, then swipe, uh, swipe up or down to go the other way. Um, if I go to home, I can come back out of here. So you got that, you got Apple TV Plus coming. Uh, I think that's coming in November, uh, from what I recall. Um, come back off the screensavers. We also have uh, Dolby Atmos, that's obviously working, and it's now obviously in 4K, so that's all good. So Apple TV uh, 13, there you can use your, um, you can obviously use your uh, controllers, you can use your Xbox controllers and your PS4 controllers, so that's a great thing to, to think that this is now a games machine as well, it's just amazing. Anyway, that's a bit of a summary for you. Um, I've given you an update of, if you're on the Goldmaster, how to get to this version. I've detailed about the screensavers for you, about Apple Arcade for you, how to rig up your Xbox controllers. So overall, quite a good experience. Anyway, I'm gonna get this video up. That's it for us from Dubri's Day Today. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, thumbs down if you don't like a video, because it's still, you know, constructive criticism. Uh, and if you could share it and like it and subscribe, I'd be very happy. Thanks guys, look forward to seeing you next week on Dubri's Day. Cheers in, bye.